Today was uh, not a bad day. We had a couple sprinkles develop, but otherwise a pretty gloomy looking one for most of it until the evening when the skies parted a little bit. We got a nice little sunset, but we're going to start to see those clouds fill back in. Rain not an issue right now, and I don't think it's going to be an issue for us tonight. Temperatures, though, are a little on the warmer side. We're still hanging to 70 degrees from Pittsburgh to Cranberry, 71 even in Wheeling and Morgantown. Well, Washington, Beaver Falls, Newcastle are at 69 degrees, 68 from uh, Butler to Catanning to Greensburg. So some warmer temperatures to deal with. We have dry conditions downtown as we look at the Fort Duquesne Bridge. Right now it's at 70 degrees. Cloudy skies reported at the airport and a light wind out of the southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now our dew point's at the point where you can just sort of feel that humidity outside, low 60s. That's going to inch back upward. And with our temperatures and dew points getting close together tonight, we could see some pockets of fog by tomorrow morning. So keep that in mind for the early morning commute. You might run into some lower visibility. Uh, 64 is the low tonight in Pittsburgh. Latrobe 65, Connellsville 66. So most of our temperatures here are uh, generally going to be down into the mid 60s, but it will be stickier than it was last night into this morning for sure. Tomorrow, the stickiness or the humidity will continue, but we're going to see our temperatures warming up just a little bit. We're talking some mid 80s for Pittsburgh and Washington, 83 Latrobe and Connellsville, 82 Butler, 82 Catanix. So our temperatures a little warmer than average. Normal is 80 for this time of year. You're going to see our humidity levels hanging out in that muggy to even almost extremely humid range over the next few days. So get ready for some humidity. But once we get Thursday night into Friday, you'll notice a big drop in that line. That is because our temperatures and our humidity are going down after a pretty good cold front comes in. So the big view shows that we've had these clouds and on and off, and they're going to be with us for the night, and you'll actually see those fill back in. So by tomorrow morning, I think we're looking at more clouds than sunshine, but the day isn't going to be a wash. I think any chances for rain are very, very small and probably reserved more for later in the day. Futurecast here shows that uh, it wants to pick up on this rain, but you'll notice it's very light and scattered for early tomorrow morning. So I'm not really concerned about this. Once we get later into the day, yeah, we could see a spotty shower trying to develop ahead of the pack, but most of our rain is going to be Tuesday night into Wednesday, Wednesday into Thursday, and Thursday into Thursday evening. So Futurecast here shows maybe a spotty morning shower on Wednesday, but more widespread rain, some rumbles of thunder in there for Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. Thursday, same deal, rain and even some thunderstorms, and some of that rain could be a little on the heavier side as the cold front that's coming in is going to make a big difference between what we have and what we're going to be getting as we head later into uh, the forecast. So just know that there is some much, much cooler air on the way for the weekend, much more comfortable too, as those humidity levels are dropping. So clouds and sun for tomorrow, some thunderstorms Wednesday and Thursday, Friday, clearing skies and that sunshine will take us right into the weekend. And with all this going on over the next few days, the KDK weather app can help sort that out for you with the hour by hour and daily forecast, plus the interactive radar search, CBS Pittsburgh in the app store and Google play.